So today we're going to discuss focus groups. So we're going to do a brief overview. We're going to look when they're used and when they're not used. And we're going to look at participant guidelines. So let's start off with what is a focus group? So a focus group is a qualitative research method where a small group of participants, typically six to 12, engage in a guided discussion led by a facilitator. The aim is to explore participants' attitudes, perceptions, beliefs and experiences on a particular topic. The interactive setting encourages participants to discuss and debate ideas, leading to deeper insights and a better understanding of the research subject. So when can a focus group be used? So if we're exploring attitudes and perceptions, so we can understand how people feel about a certain topic area, product, service or experience. So using an example from MSK, uh, rehabilitation. We could be investigating patients' attitude towards a new MSK rehabilitation program. We can use it to generate ideas and hypotheses, to brainstorm new ideas or explore potential hypotheses. Again, an example could be developing new injury prevention strategies based on athletes' feedback. We can evaluate concepts. So we can assess a reaction to new concepts, prototypes, or interventions. So we could look at gauging the potential acceptance of a new um, muscle skeletal treatment method um, alongside um, sports therapists or rehabbers. We need to understand group dynamics. So we need to observe how the group interacts, how they influence opinions and behaviors. So for an example, exploring how support groups for injury prevention impacts individuals' adherence to exercise programs. So when would we not use the focus group? If we are discussing sensitive or personal issues, participants may um, feel uncomfortable sharing in a group setting. So for example, exploring personal medical histories or mental health issues related to injury recovery. If we require deep individual insights, so detailed personal narratives that are best captured through one on one interviews. So, for example, understanding the unique rehabilitation journey of a patient with a rare muscle skeletal condition. Logistic constraints. So when we're gathering a group of participants in one place, um, it's impractical due to time, location or resource limitations. So, for example, conducting research with participants who have highly varied schedules or are up and down the country. The high likelihood of dominance when there is a risk that one or a few participants might dominate the discussion, skewing the results. So, for example, groups where social dynamics might inhibit open discussions, such as a focus group with both senior and junior staff members. How many participants should be included within a focus group? Now, an ideal size, the focus group should typically include six to 12 participants. Now, a small group, so four to six participants, is useful for exploring complex topics where each participant needs more time to express their views. Now, medium groups, seven to nine participants, you have a balance between allowing individual expression and group interaction. Now, large groups, 10 to 12 participants, is good for generating a broad range of ideas and thoughts, but may require more skilled moderation to manage the discussion. Now, you've got to think about how the group is made up. So participants should be selected based on the research objectives and they should share relevant characteristics or experiences related to the topic area. So you can have two types of groups. You can have participants with similar backgrounds or experiences, and that can provide deeper insights into certain issues. Or you can have a group with diverse um, participants, and that can order, um, offer a broader range of thoughts, but may require facilitation to ensure balanced participation. Now, focus groups are a valuable qualitative research tool for exploring collective attitudes, generating ideas and understanding group dynamics. They are most effective when used to discuss topics that benefit from group interaction and diverse viewpoints. 
However, they may not be suitable for sensitive topics or when deep individual insights are needed. Ensuring the right number of participants and careful moderation is key to successful focus group research.